right, so I magnetized my screw, my screwdriver. Now, I think this one goes right here. Let me zoom out again. Goes in the bigger place. Bigger, bigger room. Pop it right here. It has to be where I put it in first. Nope. Not there. Hmm. That's weird. What does this do? Maybe right here? Yeah, that's where it goes. Well, this one is almost the same. Alright. Nope. This one probably goes in here. Alright, so they make it like every screw is the different size when you get to this level because they don't want you screwing up, which is really nice of Toshiba. doesn't have Loctite so if it doesn't have Loctite it's probably gonna be the furthest away from moving parts I don't know why they put that there because the hard drives there mm. you know it's Toshiba you don't know what they're doing and then no. oh it's probably gonna yeah same front end Alright, so I'm gonna put that right here. I've never been this far before on this specific one. Where else does this go? It's probably go right here. Oh, and I didn't have this screw in the beginning. So, it's a good hint. Then. Do I have anything from the back? No silver screws. Alright, I'm gonna go look for screws around the room because I dropped them. Alright, so if you lose one just like I did, it's not a big deal. Just make sure all the ones are tight so it's not gonna have a big effect on the computer itself. Plus, there are so many screws that, you know, they make it really stable. So we make sure you have all your connections in. Like, this one is the keyboard, and there are three for the, um, that you're gonna put in later. So there's three right there, and all the others, pretty much that I have to do right now, are in. So what I'm gonna do right now is, you know, put this in, click it, and I have a problem on my mouse. Just want to see what that is. This has been here. This problem is was here before, so it's not new. And the problem is, what is this? Oh, this one right here. So this is here I want to bend this one up all right yeah it's it's good now. yeah okay this feels empty because okay, there's no battery. Right. And then make sure it's all clicked though. This is clicked, that's clicked, this is clicked. If it is clicking and unclicking, the screw will probably fix it in the future. So, right here we have another problem. We have to put all these together. They're simple. This one, you want to use the blue tape they have, which like helps you put it in.
Okay, I'm putting that one in right now. It's in. This one. Yeah, this is the first time I ever did this. And this one is in. And before putting the screws back, which we're gonna do momentarily, what you wanna do is try if everything works. You wanna clean this up, tap the keyboard if there's any gunk in there, and kind of blow. Um, there is some residue, I don't know what that is. Um, I have a quick fix for that. It's rubbing alcohol. So get some, so get some toilet paper. <laughs> Whatever, you have tissues. And put some rubbing alcohol on it. And then we will clean that out. Yeah, it looks like new now. Clean out the fan. It's not a big problem, the fan. And clean out the back of this. There's there's airways in front of this, so, you know, the computer could also breathe. I'll put this in right now. You want to clip that in as well. Like, slide it down, slide it up. Put the thing it, put the flux cable in, slide it down so we can lock in place. And here's our keyboard. Okay. CD drive. Okay, let me zoom out. Okay, let me zoom out. Take the camera out. Snap that right in here. And we don't even need the keyboard cover for now. Just put the battery in and the hard drive and the RAM to make sure that everything works. So right here, we have two more things. Actually three. The RAM, you wanna start off on lower one. Once again, you move these. Well actually you put it in first. And it goes in one way. There's like a pin or bulge thing that, then you wanna kinda put it down. Well it's not in that good right now. Let me zoom in. Okay. You gotta put it in, in at an angle. And there we go. Experience. Then you put it in right there. At an angle. Pop. And now. We don't even need to put the door in right now. Hard drive. I made a review of it. The OCZ Agility 3. Put it into the hard drive bay. It's all snapped in place. Put this in place. Okay. What is that? I heard something move. That's not a good sign. Do you hear that? Yeah, it's a screw. Who cares? See if it works. Oh, got real scared for a second. <laughs> yeah, Toshi was leading in her vision. I almost dropped my controller. And here we go. I want a truth. I closed windows last time. So yeah guys, don't be afraid to do this, you know. You gotta have confidence, you know. Welcome. We wanna check if Wi Fi is working. Saw audio is working. The LEDs are working. Alright. LEDs are working, the trackpad's working, the lights up here are working, the power button is obviously working, and the Wi-Fi is working since it is connected to the internet. And that's that. And you know, does the keyboard work? Now that's the biggest mistake people do. Um, sometimes it doesn't work. This is the moment of truth. Okay. 
we ha do have a problem with the keyboard. No, we don't actually. Works perfectly. Everything works perfectly. Um, and <laughs> what do we get out of this? Check the fan on the side of your laptop. It is cooling perfectly. So that's that, guys. And we might do a, we might do a, I might do a tutorial of how to change your heat sink because I didn't do this in this video, unfortunately. Um, how to change the um, thermal compound in your heat sink. I'm not gonna do that right now. But you know, we're gonna call it a day and put the. It took us how many? I think like 40 minutes to do this. You know, just lock in the keyboard cover. And screw on the key, um, the screws in the back. So that's it, and that's all it is to it. Works perfectly right now. Um, no, it's not even. It's it's actually cooling better. There's more air coming out. It's definitely worth it, you know. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna make a review video uh, soon about how to make album artwork on for iTunes and all that. So that was a, a request from our um, user Joe Jester. Who subscribe to our channel? Thanks, George Jester, for requesting. I will soon do that. Do that. So thanks, guys. And this is technically right here. We do everything right the first time. <laughs> hey there, guys. I'm Andre from TechDigi.com, and I'm going to be showing you how to clean up your computer out of dust, out of the fan on the inside, and optionally, you can follow um, what I'll do. If I find um, a heat sink, <clears throat> I'm going to be re um, re you know, re putting the thermal compound on there so it better conducts the heat. And it's going to be um, using a acrylic. Let me get it focused. And what this is, it's a it's kind of like a synthetic uh, uh, heat conductor. So um, when you get the computer, there between the processor, or GPU, and the heat sink, there is um, you know thermal compound, so it conducts heat. However, over time, two or three years, you're going to have to change that because it gets bad. And now the one I have right here on me right now. This does not conduct electricity, so it's not going to mess you up. It's not like silver, which does. So try not to get the silver. Try to get the acrylic um, thermal compound. This is the MX2. You know, it's really good, actually. Um, and, you know, I I like this one. So that's that, and we're going to go ahead and open, open it right now. Before opening it up, you want to make sure there's nothing in the USB port. So if there's anything in the USB and USBs, any power, just take it out. Um, make sure your computer shut down also, because when you remove the battery, and if it's in hibernate or anything like that, you're gonna be you're gonna be stranded with no data. You know something's gonna happen. So take out the battery. All right. So as you can see, I removed the battery, and I'm going to use a Philips, which is a star. Um, I'm going to use the Philips, you know, screwdriver. There's two ways um, companies do this. They either make the back removable, or in this case, they make it the keyboard removable as well. So in this case, you're going to have to watch what I do closely, because you can break your keyboard just like I did, and you're going to have to pay a hefty price. So just remove this, okay, the first cover, in my case. Um, you just kind of want to detach everything. Now the second thing is you want to kind of slide. Slide everything around. Don't try pulling things and yanking things out. So I'm going to try to pull out my keyboard right here. And I got it right out right now. You can see there's quite a bit of uh, residue <laughs> on the bottom. And let me zoom in right a little bit right here. So that's that. That's the fan as you can see. We're going to be going on to the next level. You can just simply clean it out from up here. Um, if you want, or you know, you can take it to the next level and follow what I do. So if you want to stop right here and do what you got to do, you can, you know, take a cotton, you know, Q-tip and, you know, go with rub alcohol and take all the dust up. If you have a desktop, on the other hand, you want to, you know, simply open up the case and the scenario would be much easier. So right now I have mm, no, a couple of screws right here. Go ahead and take these out. And you always want to put your screws somewhere you're going to know. So, I'm going to put it right here, okay? That's the most important thing, because if you lose a screw, again, that screw might be important. Because, okay, for example, there's a screw, there is a screw for the CD um, drive, and if you pull that screw out, the whole CD drive comes out. So, if you lose that exact screw, now you're going to, you know, lose, you're going to have to get the try to keep the CD drive in and there's going to be no screw 
supporting that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all the screws out. Okay. I want to go in a, you know, like a, like a counterclockwise or clockwise so I know that I don't forget to take any out or something like that. Because order is the most important thing in this case. I'm screwing these out. As you can see, you want to make sure they're all the way out so you won't have any regrets. Let me zoom in a little. Alright, you know, this is just, you know, taking out screws. Just make sure you have all screws off. I'm not going to fast forward this part because I want you to get the time um, to take out the screws as well. And I have some missing, so I learned my lesson. I'll take the, take every single screw out. Some are real hard. <laughs> Alright, so like that. What is this? And this is the one I was talking about, about the CD drive, because if I take away this, one single screw. If you want to just get to the part where I'm going to probably clean it out, you, you know, you just fast forward the video. So I'm taking off the screws right now. And, okay, I think the only one left is the RAM door. Let me yank that off. And now you want to collect the screws. So that's that. That's that. Just put them on the side somewhere in a box, in a bag, in a bag, <clears throat> or you know whatever you have to do. So I'm put these off like to, to the side. I'm gonna tilt this kind of, and make sure you get one if you drop it. Cause if you if you save that for later, you're probably not gonna find it. I don't want to do that. Cause it's gonna fall. Let me zoom out a bit. Okay. Better. That's one. Okay, a couple drop. I'm gonna go ahead and get those. I'm gonna save that one for later. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose it. Maybe I am. So now I'm just gonna open the doors up. The RAM door, the hard drive. Take out my hard drive, which is the OCC Agility 3 I did a review of. Okay. I'll put this, make sure it's gonna fall. Now, if you wanna take your RAM out, what you're gonna have to do is, you know, Pop this. Alright, let me zoom into this. I just want to take your RAM out. You want to move this over the side. Move these over the side. It's going to pop out. You go like. You just pull it out. That's not good. Anyways. Put that one out, and then pop it again, and then, you know, pull it out. Okay, so we have all these components outside right here, and, you know, you want to look for screws. They conceal them, alright? They're everywhere, and you probably can't see them. So you want to make sure to look everywhere. And, right here, I'm going to take the keyboard off now. I'm actually going to take it off. Okay, so this is the thing right here. Okay. What, how this works, just, you know, there are, I actually just yanked it out, but for a more proper way, is that these things right here comes up and comes down. When you put it down, it kind of snaps in. When you put it up, it, um, it frees it. So that's that. It's not that strong, so you can just put it, put it in and out. But, alright, now we can get the big picture. Now this is the, this right here, it is the Wi-Fi chip. My bad. Okay, make this stronger. That's the Wi-Fi chip, and, you know, you want to you go around. 
see if you could find any of the things. And oh yeah, after after taking all the screws out, you probably could take your you know disc drive out. Well, okay, yeah, you could probably take it out from the side. And just pull it out like that. Okay, and that's that. Now put it to the side. Put all these components to the side. Okay, and now you want to kind of the laptops. Okay, we want to start off at a designated side, like this one for example. As you can see, it's already kind of popped out. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just you know make my camera. Okay, and you want to kind of pop it out, and it's, you can see it pop out. So let me zoom out. Okay, so we see that right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this, this out, and there's my laptop. So that's that, and we're gonna okay, we're gonna keep this for later. This piece. Okay, this is the piece. We can keep it. Um, put all this aside, and you know, there are connectors. You always want to be careful with the connectors. You can see right there. This one seems to be easy to pull off. You just, you know, get the edge and pull it off. Simple, similar to the keyboard one. I'm gonna lay it down on the monitor because I want to do this. I want to do a good job. If you can't take it out, then that means you're doing something wrong. Um, you don't, some of them you don't even have to, like take out, like for this one, I can simply keep this, um, I can keep the top mounted onto the monitor right here, but I'm not going to do that, I'm going to actually try to go ahead and try to take this out, and if that's not the case scenario, no, you can try, you want to wiggle it. And that doesn't seem to be the case here. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to you know, put it back in. And we're going to leave that alone for now. And, you know, I'm going to try instead to get inside. So as you can see, the fan's right here. And you can open it up if you want. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna go get my screw, which is right here. And I'm gonna bring this camera back in here a bit. And I'll show you guys how this is gonna work. So you're gonna take out your fan. There's a casing for the fan, always. Um, and there are screws on the side. One screw fell in. Uh, I'll get that later. And there's another one right here. It would be a better idea if you get a magnetized, um, magnetized screwdriver. So I'm taking this out right here. This all came off. And I can actually detach this. It's the same method as the, as the one right here. Same thing. So I need to, I need to actually do this right now. Okay, so I, you, it's pretty hard. You have to take it out. And there goes my screw on the floor, but now you can clean this. And, alright, this is the key thing. See, if you blow air into it from the side, it's not going to clean. This hasn't been cleaned for a really long time. I haven't, I've never gotten to this point, actually. I'm just showing it to you right now. And look how much filth is on that right now. After cleaning that, the airflow is going to increase. And it's going to become way better. So, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to look for my processor right now. I believe it's on the bottom of the device. I'm going to actually go ahead and clean this um, right now. But I'm, I want to kind of check what's under this right now. So by I, it looks like I can't do that. To do that, you have to kind of make sure, like, see this HDMI? It's kind of in the housing, like external casing of the device. I kind of want to, um, you know, push it in and pull up at the same time but before doing that I, I I should actually um take out all the screws that I can find there's one right here there's two right here okay and just make sure you know you take out all these screws okay this is gonna be a big job but it's gonna be definitely worth it because the airflow of the the laptop is gonna definitely increase 
and I know some of you are looking like look um looking at this video like he's crazy. Um what is he doing, you know? Um no, it's pretty simple. You know, it might look big. It's it's a time consuming thing right now I'm doing. I'm actually doing this. There's no edits into the video. So I wanna show you how to actually do it yourself. You know, you know, you just wanna make sure you take out all this stuff. Um you wanna take your time and I don't know, this is not taking a lot of time like it, I expected it to, but it's definitely worth it. And sometimes there are screws coming from the bottom. Um, I don't know if what you could do about that, but I'm gonna try doing the HDMI thing right now. You know, let me get a big, bigger picture. Push it in and pull up. I want to see if there are any screws holding it down. There aren't. It's a good sign. Now this is probably the most expensive part of my computer, and I think there is something holding it down. No, there isn't. That's great. And are there any wires holding it down? I believe so. All right, so. There is one wire right here that is holding it down, and I'm gonna take that apart. Same as the keyboard, you pull this out, then pull this out. Okay, same right here. Pull that out. This is this is for the lights to indicate what I'm doing. Like this is the battery light. Am I charging it? Is my hard drive in use? I'll put these all to the side. And yes, this laptop did work before I do this. <laughs> all right, so um. Okay, that's that. And you know, if you you want to avoid taking away parts, if you can, y you want to try like if you if I if you could tilt this instead. So right here, there is a big part. I don't know what the heck this does either. Might be for my monitor. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see what I could do here. I think I have to pull this out. Let me try taking this off. Okay, simple as that, you just pull it out. Now, hopefully, what's holding this down? I think this is, what is this? These antennas for my radio chip. I'm just take those out. The bloody antennas. Okay. And it's taped. Take the tape off. You want to make it as free as possible. And, you know, a lot of dust in here. Okay. Alright. Oh, camera almost fell. And that's that. And you know. Can't take that. I still can't take that apart. Anyways, as you can see, the dust is finally, you know, coming apart. And I'm gonna get some tissue to clean it up. Just make sure your thing isn't gonna fall because it seems like it does. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, so I'm back and I have 70% um, isopropyl alcohol, which is rubbing alcohol. There's a 90%, which is way better. Um, and this is great because, you know, you can use this um, on all that. And just a tip if you're, I might not get to the heatsink thing, but if you are, what you could actually do is you can actually, um, you know, like you can use WD-40 to take off that old goop. And I heard that works pretty good. So, I'm just going to try to take this off one more time. Seems like I can't do so. Not a problem. Um, I'll just... You know, do this instead. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna, you know, put it up. It's gonna fall. <laughs> Alright, and this is the heatsink. Alright, and this goes out and the it's this is the GPU. This is the CPU. Okay, this is the CPU, this is the GPU. GPU gets real warm and you wanna kinda make sure You want to kind of go into the motion where they're um, like up and down. If they're if they're like this, if they're like that, you want to kind of go in the direction where they're shaped. The 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 vent. 
and you want to put your finger and see if you can see it from the other side. That's how you can tell if it's fully clean. And it's almost clean. I have one little bit left to go. Okay. I want to try doing that also. I'm blowing some air. Do what you got to do. And that's that. And, you know, you can even take the fan out and put, I think you can even put a better fan in. I'm not going to go that far. I'm just going to see if I can take off the heat sink and whatnot. I don't know why the heck I'm doing this right now. But the heat sink, um... It looks like the thermal compound is still good in there. Mm, I don't want to, you know, risk taking this apart. I might do this another day. But the compound looks really good. Um, so I'm just going to leave that there. And, you know, make sure that all the these screws in here, you know, are taken care of. And I'm just going to you know, pull out all the screws that were in here. And take all the components out make sure that I'm going back in logical order from where I was and um, you got to think hard on this so right now basically I had a screw in here I'm trying to find that I think I already took it out so that's that and you know I kind of want to place it back in right now so yeah you want to make sure it's stable you can even put some weights on there if you'd like and make sure all the cables are out they're not going inside okay and this is the first time I'm ever doing this. And I have no reference, so, yeah. So that's that. And, you know, you got to put it all, all you got to see where it's shaped. And you got to put it back in that spot. You got to make sure there's no wires that you need to place. Which is disc. This is the scenario right now. Putting back in right here. Okay. Fit, fit pretty nice. That I, That tells me. That um, that's a good sign. And right now, what we're doing, what we're gonna do is we are going to actually, mm, you know, put all the connections back. So this one, the black one, went over here. This one went like that. Let's see this. You have to have good memory to do this, by the way. You never want to do things on top of each other. Because then that would, you know, screw it up a bit. So that's that. And, you know, we have a problem, Houston. Put it, you want to, okay. There we go. I don't know if you guys could see that. This is in HD, Hope you, hopefully you'll get that resolution, you can see what I'm doing up close. And then this is inside, um, I recall, you know, so the second thing I recall doing is, let me show you, right here we have that, remember I told you about the battery indicator and all those lights, I'm gonna, this is not that, this is the hard drive itself, I'm gonna open this, I don't know if you can see that, yeah you can, I'm gonna open this up. And put this in there. It should like lock while I'm doing it. I'm gonna actually use this. There's a sticker. You can pull it inside. I'm gonna lock it after I do that. And it's inside my hands. But this is gonna be a job well paid because you know I'm gonna actually be able to use my computer better now. And then this is the light I was talking about. We're gonna place that in the slot. And they make it easy because everything's like identified for you. And why not? So I'm gonna put this in here. Let's 
So there we go. That's kind of weird because I thought the the LEDs, the light emitting diodes, would go on the other side, but that's not the case. I'll put this in right here. You gotta be careful. Time pays off. Okay. So there's actually a place to put it. Real smooth. Just it went in perfectly. And same thing. I'm gonna pull. Let me let me zoom in so you can actually get a better idea of what I'm doing. Focus, focus. Okay. So I'll pull this. I put this back in. I'm gonna pull this out. There's a black thing right here. Now I'm gonna keep that pulled out. I'll put this into it. Now I'll push it back in so it locks again. Okay. That's what it should be doing. And after that, um, what are we doing right here? So this is the E209 cable. Looks good, looks good, looks great. Okay. And what else do we have here? Now I recall the fan, obviously. <laughs> Alright, still, it's better than nothing. And put it in okay, like that. Make sure it's a stable fit. And I'll put it in its connector so it can be powered. Let me. I'm forgetting to move my camera. I'm so worried about this right now. Alright, so that's in. So it's not in yet. I have to put it in like that. Okay. Make sure it's the right side. Okay, that's right. You click. You, you always will feel a click. When you do such a thing, and there's no, there's whoa, there's this connector right here. Make sure you don't peel any um, informational sticker out, cause then you know that's really important since um, it tells you if you've um, damaged your part and you want to replace it. That's a really important identifier. So I'm gonna put this back in. Um, it seems to be in. Put it back in. Okay, it's in right now. Sorry, I'm not moving the camera. Okay, it's in. That's hard. Alright. I want to make sure it's in really good, so I won't have to do this again. And right here, this one identifies with the one up top. So, these right here, like this one, goes with this one, and this one goes with this one, and that one goes with that one. And you know, it's pretty easy right now. So, um, this is, I think, where I came, and I'm gonna just simply, you know, put these screws. Now, alright, this is a tip right here. You can identify which screws goes where from the Loctite. So, it's that blue, um, blue, kind of like a, it used to be a liquid, but it dries over time. And what this does is it basically, you know, let me zoom in. Alright, so what this does is it basically, um, you know this is where there's motion. Like on a hard drive, this would be there. Because what the Loctite does is it prevents, you know, those screws from coming out over vibration. So this would probably be at a fan, a hard drive, because there's movement. Alright? So that's how you know. That's a quick tip. And we will come and screw these together back once again. Alright. Okay, it's not going in because it's not the right screw. We're gonna do some trial and error. That's bad. I'm gonna go magnet, get a magnet. 